Oh yeah, right. I also have to mention that uh, mentioning Project M on official Nintendo Miiverse internet forums will result in automatic ban for discussing criminal content. So if you're like online and you even mention Project M, uh, your account's gonna get uh, automatically banned for criminal content. So yeah, just a little FYI, don't do that. Alright, so now I'm gonna do the tutorial on how to get the uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl Infinite on the emulator, the Dolphin emulator for PC. I did a video before where you can get it on the console, it's not that bad. You basically use these two, click and drag into your SD card once you put it in your computer. Take out the SD card, put that in your Wii. It's a little bit loud, this came out like a month ago, but this is the latest, uh, kind of, I guess, project that they're doing. It's not out yet, although it does look freaking gorgeous. It's not out yet. Uh, when you look at the comments and stuff, they said that they're uh, far from doing this. They're far from done with this. It's just the idea that they're continuing this. They stopped with Project X, uh, and now they're going to go... Or Project M, my bad. They stopped with Project M a couple years ago, and then they're continuing Project XP right now. So I think this would be good. Uh, this is coming out soon. I don't know when. I remember in reading one of the comments, they replied to one of the people like, Oh, when's this coming out? Because it says uh, download coming soon. But it's not out yet. Even when you go to like the website and stuff, they're still figuring out uh, what they're doing. It's, it's far from done. They just announced this on July 22nd, and today it is August 22nd. Hey, a whole month ago. Hooray. Uh, but yeah, like, they're not done with this yet. This one's gonna come out. When you get this one, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. You just download the RAR, put that on your SD card, and then put that into your Wii. I'm pretty sure. But anyway... Uh, this is the same link as my previous video where I was showing you how to get it for console. Last time I was showing you to get the 4 gigabytes. This time you just get the dolphin and that's it. So what you're gonna want to do is open one of your folders, go to your documents section, because this is where dolphin automatically installs its emulator. You want to go into your emulator, which is the user, and then your documents, go in here, scroll down, and then you see Wii. Or you can just go to it. And then right here, I already have Gecko OS installed. It's just the boot. Uh, that, this is what you need to start the game. Uh, so when you get Gecko OS from the Dolphin emulator that you download, downloaded online, you click and drag this onto here and you'll be okay. The readme info is just how to install it. You don't really need this. I mean, you can just delete it if you want. It doesn't really matter. All you really need is the SD RAW and the Gecko OS. Just these two. I'm going to highlight it just so you can see it visually. Click and drag onto your Wii. And uh, from there, you should be good. The ISO, if you want the game, the Wii game, Smash Brothers Brawl, the ISO, uh, I'm gonna link it in the description below. So I got my Smash Brothers Brawl from this website. It's called Portal ROMs. It's uh, 7.46 gigabytes big, US version. It's this one, the Wii Wizard. Just click on download and it should start downloading. And then to actually play it, when you get the game, Smash Brothers Brawl, I renamed the file. It's still going to be Smash Brothers Brawl USA Wii Wizard, but I renamed it just so it doesn't look ugly. Uh, go into it, scroll all the way down until you get Wizard Smash Brothers Brawl. Open that up. And then in like one of the first things you're going to see is this ISO file right here. Yep, that's the only thing you'll see actually. Click that and drag it on to the game on your folder and that's it. It's gonna it's 7.92 gigabytes big. Just this. I don't think everything else even compares to that size. Never mind, I lied. Alright. So how this works, you gotta go to config right here. Or go to pads. Go to ISO directories. You want it's gonna be blank at first, but then go to add and then go to wherever your ISO is. So that'll be document, Wii Game. For me, Smash Brothers. And then the ISO should be in there. Or this is the folder, right? Select the folder. Uh, the ISO directory is going to be where the folder is at. So the folder or where the game is supposed to be at, uh, that's where you want to direct it. So documents, for me, I added the Wii games right here. I added the Wii games, I added the Smash Brothers, and then you just click on the folder. So you click on the folder, click select folder, and then because that's already there, it's not going to do anything. Then go to default ISO, go here, and then click on the, the, the Smash Brothers ISO, same thing. Uh, games, Smash Brothers, and then the ISO, the one that I told you to get earlier. Click on that, click open, but I already have that here, so we're good. And then click OK, we'd be good. And then this will pop up, you will get this, and then after that, you want to click this and then set as default ISO. Oh, and the config as well, you need to go to, after you go to pads and you do everything, go to Wii. And then, this is going to be unchecked, make sure that's checked, so that it can read SD cards, and then you can get your mod from there. Uh, because when you click open, 
and you click on your emulator Wii and Gecko OS when you click on the boot this is gonna read from SD card so you need to make sure that SD card is selected before you even get to that but uh, I'm gonna open it just in case just to keep the directory close that out yeah stop it all right so controllers if you want to connect your Xbox 360 controller mine is wireless I don't have a wire to it uh, it, it connects wirelessly through a, a cable cord um, just go here standard controller that's fine configure and once it's connected to your computer, it's going to recognize as gamepad. Go to gamepad, and then you can do your buttons. So your buttons would be the A button, the B button, the X button, the Y button. The shoulder, which is the right bumper, is the shoulder button for the Z, is what I use. The start is the start button. Up on the left analog stick is, it's going to show right here. It's, it's moving around as I do that. So uh, left, and then down, and then or, or <laughs> up, down, left, right. And then leave this alone, you can use the left shift, you don't need to touch that, that's fine. Um, and then the C stick, which is the right analog stick, next to the A, X, B, Y buttons. Uh, same thing, up, down, left, right, and then that's it. Uh, your triggers, left trigger, right trigger, self-explanatory. And then your directional pad, your directional pad, north, south, and then west and east. And you should be good, you can click OK, or you can save it just in case, like I saved it. And then you can just click save. Uh, and it's right there. So you name it to blah, 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 uh, whatever, or penis or whatever, you know, and then click save and it'll put it down here. And then you can always load that for whenever you need it. And that's how you set up the controller. So now you have your emulator and you have the controller, which uh, the emulator was not that bad to get. First of all, get the game, get the ISO, make sure that you go to your config, your pads, go to the folder where your ISO is located at. And then go to your default ISO right here, put that there, go to Wii, uh, enable the enter SD card, click OK, and that should be good actually, that, I think that's all. After you enter your SD card, go to your Dolphin emulator, defaultly in documents, scroll down to Wii, go to Gecko OS that you've gotten from the folder, and then boot, and that should be it. Again, the Gecko OS came from this Dolphin RAR file. Uh, right here to Gecko OS, that's where I just booted the game from. And then you should get this. You will see this exact same menu on the Wii console. You go to config options. Make sure, again, that your Gecko hook type is AX next frame. And that your SD cheats, your uh, SD card cheats are enabled, yes. And then go to save configurations. Configurations. And then go to launch game and you should be okay. Simple. I hope that help in any of the websites that I've shown in the video or off video. I'm going to link in the description below. This is where I got my ISO from. This is where I got my game from. 7.46 gigs. This is where I got the game from for the emulator. The game is playing in the background. Whoops. Bla-dee-da-da. Alright. <laughs> so this is where I got my ISO, my emulator games. I have not used this for anything else. I might get a couple more games. Maybe. It depends. But thank you guys for watching. I hope that helped you. If it did, please hit the like button. Comment if anything went wrong or if you need help on something. This is not hackless. If you want hackless, I think it's basically the exact same thing, just without Gecko OS. I mean, it's, it shouldn't be that hard. But uh, have a good day. Be safe. Hopefully this helped. If it did, please like it and share it with other people, like in other videos that you're seeing, like other video tutorials. Share the link and say, hey, there's an easier updated tutorial right here. Look at it. Uh, there's an idiot who talks for like 10 minutes straight. <laughs> but yeah, have a good day. Be safe. I'll see you on Twitch in my future YouTube videos. And I'm not a usual uh, tutorial channel. It's just that after hours of suffering with trying to install this, uh, I finally figured out how to get it, and I'm like, I'm just gonna share it. It's not that bad. It's pretty easy. But yeah, getting it, I think getting it on Dolphin was a lot easier than getting it on console. Jesus Christ, this took me a lot longer to do than on Dolphin. Let me tell you.